get you. Can I see what you got in stock? Hey, where do you think you're going like that? You really think you can stop me from entering? You can always try, but if you enter by force, you'll see the room's empty. It's just a storeroom. Okay, just for the sake of argument. Hey. Hi, what can I get you? I heard a guy could get in touch with the Resistance here. Yeah, people say all kinds of shit these days. And that kind of shit is the kind what hurts an honest businessman like myself. On the other hand, you know what brings people into my bar? Gives it a bit of life. The fights. You look like you can take care of yourself. You go in the arena, and the place will light up. Yeah, okay. Anything I should know? You're gonna take on some moles. Try to make a show out of it. Makes the customers go crazy.
Hero. Kinda lets you work it out of you, doesn't it? You could say that, but that's not really why I'm here, you know? Yeah, I do seem to recall. Yeah, okay, listen. You kept the people entertained, and when he fights, a guy can't lie. Uh, I can't say I really follow you. When you watch someone fight, you know what he's like inside. You're no saint, but you're no traitor either. They meet back there. Go see the guy and give him the password. It's, there can be no rest. Nothing else is any of my business. Thanks, Roy. Thanks to you, I'm finally going to meet them. Thanks. I'll go have a look. Hey, where do you think you're going like that? There can be no rest. Until they drink of our tears. You may enter. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Forget it. Resistance, consider it done. What do you want? I'll warn you right away that if they smell a trap, they'll kill you. Stop it, Marco. We know who they are. They have no reason to betray us. Really? Even the Renegade? I bet he could get his place back at the source if he turned us in. I doubt it. They know me too well and want me alive. They know I'm not made for the source. Roy won't betray you. They want him too. Please, you have to listen. All right, kid. Talk. My parents were militia. When I came back from the Abundance Camp, ruins were all that was left of their home. Poor kid. Almost everyone in the militia was killed in a single night. Not many of them got away. And they're with us now. I don't even know what happened to them. They could have been captured. I don't know. I have to do something. I can't just stand around twiddling my thumbs. You look sincere. And we need people like you. You, on the other hand, don't count on it. I can't take the risk. The Technomancers are too unstable. Marco, we should maybe talk to the others before deciding. After all, he could be useful to us with everything he can do and all. Judy, I just tried to talk things over with the others as much as possible, but I said no. This man is dangerous. I don't trust him. Great. I can understand being paranoid can help in your kind of situation, but you're going a bit far. Please, Roy, let me try and convince them that you're an honorable man. Just give me some time. What was that? An explosion, but not one of ours. That wasn't an explosion. Only a fluid overload can make that kind of noise. The Technomancers again. We should get out of here. That kind of noise will bring a patrol straight here. Let's go, kid. Now or never. I... Roy, sorry. See you soon. Take it easy, kid. I should go see this explosion close up.
What the hell is she doing here? Won't take long for a patrol to show up. I better get her out of the way. There you go. Looks like she's waking up. Did you really think you could kill my master and get away with it? After running away with your tail between your legs? You thought a weak woman would never come after you, didn't you? Mary, Mary. Like you said, your master didn't give us a choice. You're exhausted and really worked up. I... I feel weak. But when I got here, I was full of anger and power. What has happened to me? You had an overload you couldn't get rid of. Young Technomancers are almost never told about things like that. It makes it harder for them to escape. You were alone, and all that power took over. Now you're empty. You should rest. I feel awful. Like I've been ripped to shreds inside. The overload was too strong. You need help. I'll go find some medicine so you can recover. Here, take this. It'll prevent any internal bleeding and get you back on your feet. I... I should thank you, shouldn't I? If I join you, will you teach me to control the Overload? I could teach you how to do that, yeah. Some people even learn to use the Overload without suffering too much from its effects. Are you going to sleep with me? Sean did. Why not? You owe me. Especially since, without me, you wouldn't last long before the source saw you. If it means I'll survive, then you can do what you want with me. something for you? I was wondering... You don't want to change what you're wearing? Your dress is ripped to shreds. Not really, um, discreet. This dress reminds me of who I am. It's a testimony of my shredded past. I've lost so much due to my ignorance. Today, I am what I am. A pariah. A renegade hunted by my peers. But also a new woman. Free to determine her own conventions, without bonds. I suppose I can understand that. You're a little lost here. It's your last link to your past life. All right, fine. We'll go on like that. How did you become apprentice to the warden of a prison camp? It's a long story. I... I'm sorry. I really don't know you. I'd rather talk about it some other time. You still don't want to talk to me about your past. I... I'm sorry, Roy. I promise that when it feels right, and I've had time to sort it out, I'll tell you my story. What are the Abundance Technomancers like? Do they have the same status as here? I... I don't know much about it. But from what I saw, the people are afraid of them, just like here. Even though they'll never be allowed to hold the highest offices. But they're in the army. They're officers. They are not allowed to form cliques or teams. A master is simply allowed an apprentice, nothing more. They're primarily a military unit, for the battlefield, nothing more. Why did you take the risk of following me? You would have kept your status and rank with abundance. I... I was so angry, livid with rage. Sean had saved and protected me. I wanted to avenge him. Now I see that he was using me. But how was I to know that then, when he was all that I knew? I followed you for one reason. To kill you. You said he saved you? Yes, I... I'm sorry. I don't really want to talk about it. I want to tell you something else. 
Come with me. I'd like to have you with me. It would be a pleasure. I prefer it when I'm with you. Mr. Temperance, I'm Devotion. General Honor Grant sent me. He'd like to talk to you. Strange kind of invitation, seeing how they're looking for me. I thought I had observed all the formalities. Please forgive me. If you fear for your life, please understand that the General does not currently wish you any harm. Now that's a relief. Are you sure you're normal? I believe so. On the other hand, I am only following the orders I've been given. Given your current, uh, situation, I suggest you go to him through the Tyrvill Underground. You sure got the right name, don't you? Devoted, calm as they come. Yeah, all right, I'll go. And me? Am I invited too? I think you can come too. We didn't know Mr. Temperance had a... companion. That explains why the invitation didn't mention you. Please forgive us. I... I think I'd like to go too. Okay, let's go together then. <laughs> 